Hey guys, so in this video, what we'll do is that we'll generate an image from some text. So it's like you will prompt it something here, like generate me a bubble Iron Man, uh, a bubble Iron Man with all the no code power in the world. And now if you click render it, it will generate an image of that bubble Iron Man uh, here. So if I click render here, and give it some time. Okay, so now we have got an image here. You can also ask it anywhere. A lion reading a book while eating um, it is meat. And then just give it some time. And here we go, that he is thinking about meat and he is reading the book. So this is from OpenAir. So let's see how we can actually build it in Bubble.io. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to come into this add plugins. And then you have to type in chat GPT. And after that, you will find a plugin from us that is Chakor. And you can just install it. I, I have already installed it. So... It gives us actually three of the actions that we can perform. We can ask OpenAI's API any question and it will return us the response like how Google works. Uh, except that it is a lot better in many ways, but a lot worse as well. Uh, and then we have the current images from text that is actually Dolly model that we would use. So this is and this, the, the second action is actually what we will be going through in this tutorial. So for this, what I've done is, I've done a very basic front end here. We just have an input here and a button and, and then the image that will, that will be <coughs> shown uh, after the response that we will get from the open AI. So on this render button, what I've done is, and I'll show you. So the, you can just ignore these workflows, show and hide loaders, these are only for US purposes. The main thing that, the, the only main thing is this. Uh, but before coming into this section, please make sure that you have uh, added your uh, authorization keys from OpenAI. I've already added them. Uh, you need to actually uh, add bearer before the key. So you can see bearer, then space, and then your API key that you will get from OpenAI. If you want to know how you can get the OpenAI key, you just have to go into Open here, and then you have to go into the API keys. So this is how you can go to the API key, and then you can generate a new secret key from here, or you can use this one. So you cannot actually unhide it now because it will, it, it is already used. So they only show it once. So again, coming back to the uh, action, where you can actually search it easily for if you just type. Chat GPT, it will give you this uh, action that you can use. And in this action, there are three things. So the first thing is actually the prompt. You can also see the documentation here. So the prompt is anything that you like an image of. So uh, the, again, the thing is, if you like an uh, an image of flying eating up, eating an apple or while sitting on a table, you can you can have many. Uh, uh, prompts here, many types of types of prompts here. So it is, it just depends on your creativity. And then the end parameter is only the number of images that you want to get from that API. So in my case, I'm only using, I'm only getting one, but you can actually call at, I think 10. So if you see the document, documentation must be between one to 10. So maximum of 10 and a minimum of one. So I have gone for the minimum for now. And you can only choose, and for the size, this is actually the image size that you will get. So the image will always be one ratio one, meaning that if it will always be a scared image, not a wide image, not a portrait image, only a one by ratio one scared image. And the sizes of those images uh, are only three. So if you see the documentation, you can see that they can only get, and you can only get 256 by 256, uh, 512, and then uh, one or two fold. So these are only the sizes that you can get. 
you can actually make a drop down or front end if you would like your users to be able to actually manipulate this as well and then uh, you can uh, just have a number input on the front end if you want this to go as dynamic as well the number of images and then what I have done is I will I will get a response from this uh, action and I have actually stored it in a state so it is stored in a in the page state so I have made a state of the page and then uh, I'm showing I'm storing the current image that I will get from this section into this state so it is as follows if I clear this you will see the result of ChatGPT's data so the data actually returns, a, returns as an ID as well these are the list of images so as you can see you can define all, a maximum of, um, of 10 images so it, it actually so the data is actually a, a list so we will uh, so we will only get so because in our case we are only getting the one image and uh, so what we'll do is we'll select the first item from the data and then we'll just get the url of that image and this is how we'll, we'll store the uh, state uh, uh, we will store the image in the state and then on the front end what we'll do what we do is i have an image here and then i have actually set it to this page so this page has a state which is image so i have so the image sources source is coming from this page current, current image so this is the same state that, that we are showing, uh, storing on the back end so let's move back to here uh, just give it a time okay <laughs> I'm running out of ideas on what to do here uh, okay uh, it could be unlike uh, an expert Bawalayo developer on Chukko. Let's run to this and let's see where it gives us back. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, so this is a very Indian guy who is, I think, uh, the open API is actually uh, considering the bubble as like literal bubbles like how we see here and not the bubble IO technology so I think but it gives us the image so that's the action plan that we needed so thank you so much for connecting today and watching this tutorial if you want to see more of the open AI tutorials or chat GPT tutorials please let me know in the channel and I will surely make, make videos on those as well. Thank you so much.